Hey, what's up? I'm Eric. I want to show you this little circuit I made. It's an analog computer that models the trajectory of a bouncing ball. An analog computer is really interesting because before there were digital computers, people needed to solve mathematical problems, and so they came up with a way to do it analog with electronics. And uh, it's kind of forgotten technology, and so I decided to dig into it. And uh, here's a little circuit I made that is a physical model of a bouncing ball. We have controls for gravity, coefficient of restitution, and the initial velocity. And so we're just going to play with the circuit a little bit and try some different parameters. That's a low coefficient of restitution and a high initial velocity. Let's turn up the coefficient of restitution and make the ball more bouncy. Bouncier still. And that's a coefficient of restitution of about 1, where the ball doesn't seem to be gaining or losing energy as it impacts. So let's cancel that. And let's turn it down just a little bit to see if we can make it slowly come to a stop. One of the tricks in tweaking the circuit was to make it sensitive enough that it would model the end of the bounce train, that rapid stream of impulses you hear at the end. Let's turn up the force of gravity and keep the same coefficient of restitution. Wow. More gravity. Crazy. All the way, gravity on 10. Let's try some other stuff. Let's turn the coefficient of restitution to be greater than one so the ball actually gains energy every time it strikes. I'm gonna back off the gravity a little bit too. So the ball should bounce higher with each hit. That's kinda of nice. Initial velocity even lower. Lower still. Okay, so that's not something that happens in nature, but it's within the range of this model. Just play around a little more.